So, you don't know how to drive. Not a problem. A driver is just a technique that gives you more control over your project. That's it. That's literally all it is. And to use a driver, you need two things. A goal and a trigger. So, our goal is to fix the mess around the collarbone when we bend the arm forward. I've already added an extra bone parented to the shoulder and weight painted the points around it. So, the idea for this driver is when the arm bends forward, I want this bone to move these points in this direction. And if we look here, it looks like this direction translates to Z location. So, the goal is to control Z location with a value that comes comes from the arm rotation, aka our trigger value. To find out which value that should be, click the bicep and figure out which axis controls the forward rotation. And if you look here, it says that red is the X axis. So we are gonna control this bone's Z location with this bone's X rotation. Now that we have our triggers and goals planned out, we execute by right clicking our goal and add driver. Now as soon as you do this, they give you a VAR and the VAR's job is to represent your trigger. Remember. Our trigger is bicep X rotation. Now to set VAR to the trigger, go into object and click armature. And under bone, click the name of your bicep. Set type to rotation X, mode to quaternion, and local to space. Awesome! From now on, VAR is equal to X rotation. And if you update dependency and try to move the arm, you will now see that as you move the arm forward on the X axis, the Z location for this bone changes by the same amount. Now from here it's real simple. We just have to decide the minimum and maximum values that we want to allow for this bone because this is obviously way too far. The best way to find out what your maximum should be is to stretch the arm to its maximum position. Then go back to the driver, click it, and start plugging and chugging numbers in until it looks good to you. Since it went too far, I'm gonna multiply the trigger var by something small, like 0.25. Okay, that's better, but it's still a little too far. So let's try 0.17. All right, that looks good to me. It's not too far and the points aren't squashed together anymore. So we got our maximum value set. And now the last thing we need to set is a minimum. This bone should only move left and only when the arm bends forward. So we know the minimum value is gonna be the beginning or zero. So to set it to that, just go to the driver, copy your equation and type this and then paste your form right here. Enter and you're done. Now if we move the arm, you can see this bone shifts to the left as the arm bends forward, but if we bend it backwards, it never goes past zero. And that is how you drive. Hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.